What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Blue, back with another video. About to drop these Taco Tuesday tacos on y'all. So we got some flank steak, y'all, and we got some salmon. And we finna fry that salmon up in some avocado oil. And we finna put these vegetables after I wash them up. We finna drop all these vegetables on these tacos, y'all. And they finna be so fire. Um, unfortunately, my volume or my sound was tripping when I was recording my video. I did record my video live with my voice and everything, but the volume was going in and out. So I decided, unfortunately, to do a voiceover. But it's cool. Y'all know what it is and who it be. All right. So we're going to wash this flank steak up real good, y'all. And then we're going to cut it into strips. And that's how we're going to get our steak tacos, okay? All right. So, y'all see I done cut it up into strips just like that and cleaned it up. We finna pop this seasoning on there, y'all. And then we're going to put this in the refrigerator because I'm not ready to cook it yet. These are the only seasonings that I'm going to use, okay? I could have actually put some Tony's on there, but it's all good. Now, let's get this salmon ready, y'all. I'm finna clean it up real good. I'm finna take this skin out for her. And I'm also gonna cut that up into some strips. I'm using this half a lemon to help clean my salmon, y'all. Clean y'all fish, y'all chicken, whatever y'all cooking. Clean it. I mean, we ain't supposed to consume it anyway. But make sure you clean it thoroughly and make sure... You get as much of the impurities off as possible, okay? Y'all watch what I'm doing. I'm telling you, they're going to be fine. Y'all family going to be like, mm, mm. I know when my husband came in the house, he said, it smells like a Mexican food restaurant, y'all. So I'm going to put these on this napkin so they can dry out. Before we season them, don't season no wet fish, y'all. That's nasty. All right, so like I said, we're going to put these on this napkin so I could dry all the water out before I put this seasoning on them, y'all. And I'm going to pretty much use the same seasoning as I did um, for my steak, except I'm not going to use the taco seasoning. Instead, I'm going to use some seafood seasoning. All right, y'all, so we got all our salmon strips on this napkin. Here got my seasonings. I'm going to use this seafood magic. I'm going to use some fajita seasoning, of course, my turmeric, and some garlic powder, okay? So we going to mix them up in this bowl. I'm also going to add some lemon, some fresh lemon juice. Not no lemon juice in a bottle, y'all. It got to be fresh for me. It's the freshness for me, y'all, because that's don't mind these uh seeds either. They fine. I'll pick some out, but sure, they ain't going to hurt nothing. Make sure you eating fruit with seeds anyway. That mean they real. <laughs> so we going to mix this up right here, and I'm going to also set this to the side because I'm not ready to fry them yet, but I just wanted to add my seasoning so they could kind of be mini marinating in the refrigerator until I'm ready to um, fry them up. Now, I'm going to fry these up in a um, pan with a little avocado oil as well, but my steak, I'm going to make that on my griddle. So, y'all stay tuned. This recipe is really easy. It's really quick, but it is a lot of preparation. So, let's chop these vegetables up. Y'all see it. Mm, it smell like a garden. Y'all see all them pretty colors. Now, all this except the cabbage is going to get grilled up, okay? All right, so let's warm up our pan for our salmon, y'all. Stay tuned. Watch till the end of this video because y'all going to see how far they are. All right, so here go the avocado oil. We going to let that get warm. And then here go my griddle that I'm going to be making my steak on, y'all. 
So we got our steak strips on the griddle and I'm gonna cover these up with a lid because I don't want them to be dry. I wanna keep the moisture within, okay? I'm gonna make a little quick egg wash to dip my salmon in before I dip it in the um, panko. And here got my panko breadcrumbs. I'm finna season this up, y'all. And I'm just gonna use my seafood magic seasoning Pretty much the same seasoning that I use to season the stuff up, okay? The fajita, the garlic powder, and the um, turmeric. The turmeric is awesome for anti-inflammatory, y'all. Try to start cooking with your turmeric. We are already eating bad. Let's try to make it as, you know, let, let's try to put some good stuff in it, you know? Not no salt, y'all. Leave that white salt alone. Get you some pink Himalayan sea salt, okay? All right, so let's go on and finish seasoning up our panko crumbs real nice, okay? We gonna batter up these salmon strips, y'all. We gonna put them in this egg wash like this here. Y'all see it, y'all see it. And once again, um, the panko style for me was in, inspired from Pinterest. I can't remember um, the young lady who, um, I think her name was like Kimberly something. I'm not sure, but, you know, I always, you know, look at recipes and then put my own little spin to it. You know, I just try to see the basis of something. So um, I would have never tried the panko. I would have probably used flour, but I'm glad I did see the panko instead. All right, so let's bread these up. And actually, I'm going to try these again with some um, coconut flour, like real soon with the salmon. Because I'm trying to get off that white flour, which I don't do it a lot anyway. But all right, so these is going in the skillet. And as you can see, I do not have a lot of um, oil. Even though I'm using avocado oil, I'm not using a lot. Now, it is going to kind of cause my sal some of my salmon pieces to burn, but that's okay because y'all know what it is. We eat the burnt pieces in everything. All right. So, let's finish whipping this up, whipping this around. Okay. Y'all see it. And I don't have my skillet real, real high because I do not want to burn the salmon it does not take a long time to cook salmon so i don't have it up high as well as i don't have a lot of grease all right now we finna dress this taco up um well when we dress it up we gonna use this sauce y'all so i'm finna make me some cilantro sauce for my taco i just use some mayo you can use whatever mayo you want some lemon juice fresh lemon juice y'all make sure y'all get some fresh lemon juice okay but only half a lemon don't use the whole lemon y'all just use hey depending on how many people you feed and if you feeding a lot of people go ahead and use a whole uh lemon okay i just put some of them serrano peppers and poblano pepper up in there okay gonna drop that in there and i'm talking on the video y'all but like i said the volume was messed up so there was no way i could post this video with the volume being messed up y'all i'm sorry i just i couldn't do it okay so now i'm gonna put my cilantro in there okay and this is just a personal hand blender that i'm using on my um nutra bullet i think don't quote me on the name of the blender. It, it's the good one. I Oh, the Ninja. I'm sorry. I'm talking about the Nutra Bully. It's the Ninja, y'all. My bad. All right. So, yes, we going to add these ingredients. Now, I'm going to put some key limes in there, okay? Key limes are way better than, lime, uh, than lemons. Lemons are very acidic, so I do like to use key limes, but I had some lemons, so I'm going to just use both of them, okay? All right, and I got my little juicer right here, and I'm putting three. I cut them in half, and I'm putting three. Um, I'm using three key limes, and I'm squeezing the juice out of them, y'all. Squeeze. 
squeezing the juice out of them and then we gonna blend this up and then we gonna also set this to the side because like i said this is the sauce this is the sauce we got the sauce dallas we uh -huh. got the sauce yeah we got the sauce dallas yeah we got the sauce. all right good job all righty so let's see Let's get the rest of these done, y'all. We almost done, y'all. Y'all watch to the end of the video. I hate the volume was messed up, but it's cool. It's cool. All right, so we almost done here. We had three, so we got six halves that we had to. Okay. And we're going to take that. Put a little salt in that thing. Y'all see that pink Himalayan sea salt. All right. And we just going to blend that up. Now, you see the white at the top. That's just the uh, mayonnaise that didn't get blended. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it off. Shake it up. Okay. And then once I shake it up, I'm going to re-blend it. And it's all going to be incorporated. Y'all get the gist of it. All right. There go my salmon. Okay. That's done. My veggies have been sauteed. Now, let's dress this taco up, y'all. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. So, I'm going to cook this uh, corn tortilla a little bit on my griddle. Okay, I did put some avocado oil on there just so it would not stick to the hot plate. All right. So, we're going to get that flipped and flipped and flipped. Get it nice and warm. Okay, now I'm eating the salmon ones. My family, they're eating the steak ones. Um, so I'm going to show you mine. And I don't remember if I was able to show you the steak one, but it's all good. Okay, so we starting with our cabbage. And we're going to put some of that green sauce on there. All right, then we're going to add some salmon pieces, y'all. Oh my God, this about to be so fire, y'all. Watch this. Add them salmon pieces. Okay, I'm going to put some of them grilled veggies. <clears throat> put some of them grilled veggies on that thing. We got onions. We got red bell pepper. We got green bell pepper. We got poblano pepper. We got serrano peppers. We got it all, y'all. Yes, sir. We finna put these peppers on there. And then we're going to put some more of that green sauce on there. I don't even got a name for it right now. Green cilantro sauce. We're going to put some more on there. And you know it was spicy. Oh, yeah, I got to squeeze me a little lemon. A little lemon juice. Lemon juice make Mexican Please. food fire. Oh. All right, y'all stay tuned for this Please. taste test. I really, really wish my volume was not tripping. That's a little sriracha that I put on the top, y'all. Y'all heard Dallas in the background. He just Wee. can't. He can't help himself. Wee. Wee. Dallas was the tacos good. Yeah. They was. You liked them. Yeah. All right. You should have tasted mommy's. Mommy's was real good. Mm. Them corn tortillas be turned up, Wee. but it's all good. Stop. Huh? Wee, 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 wee. They good, y'all. Right, All right, now way. I get to sit down and try the taco out. I can't believe my volume was tripping, y'all. Make sure y'all drop a like on this video. Thank y'all for watching it. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to your girl. I got more bangers coming. <laughs> Nah, man, make sure y'all drop a like. Thanks for all the support thus far. Make sure y'all go check out my TikTok. That thing is going crazy. This taco was fire. If you decide to make these salmon tacos, leave a comment down below. Let me know how it went. Let me know if it was good, if you like it, if you don't. Let me know if you tweaked it, put your own spin on it. I love it, y'all. Dallas even gave his opinion. Wee. He had the steak Wee. tacos. All right. Wait, so, I like talk? I said, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. What you want to say to them, Dallas? I want to say we. He want to say we. You want to tell them to subscribe? Yes. Like. Like and to that subscribe.
to that video. Show your mommy videos? Yeah. They need to share them? Yeah, they need to share them. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all.